What is going on everyone, this is Ninja Geek here, and welcome to a video about Sony Vegas. Normally, I don't really do these types of things with the PC and stuff, I edit with Sony Vegas, so I wanted to make this video for those who are interested in things about Sony Vegas. So, let's get started. So, I work on Sony Vegas Pro 13, I know 12 was a very popular program, 13 has been out for a long time now, and I've been using 13 and loving it ever since. It is my favorite editing software to use, period, it just literally is. However, However, I was wondering if there would ever be a Sony Vegas Pro 14, and well, it looks like there is. They actually emailed me saying that by the end of September 2016, which is just in a few short months, we are going to be seeing a new version of Vegas Pro called Vegas Pro 14 with some added features and stuff like that. However... I don't really know too much information about it, not a lot of people know too much information about it, except for the fact that it is going to include some new things like H.265 support, 4K support, which with smart upscaling, actually native ProRes support, but there's going to be a lot more things included in this, and those are just like the small little features that they added. What are they going to change in this? We don't know, and the big question is is the fact that actually it's not going to be Sony Vegas anymore. I guess you could call it Magix Vegas Pro because Magix actually bought out the Sony Vegas software. So that's another concerning flag for me because Sony isn't making it. However, it could be a good flag because Sony hasn't really updated Vegas Pro in a long time. Obviously, Windows 10 has been out. They really haven't done anything to update Vegas Pro 13 for that to be fully compatible with it, I guess, unless I just haven't been checking the updates. I usually do, and there isn't anything. It works perfectly fine. I have it to work, except it isn't fully compatible. It's not there with Windows 10, so maybe Vegas Pro 14 can do that. However, uh, Magix is another, I guess, uh, company that d involves with this stuff, and they bought out Sony Vegas Pro as well as a bunch of other stuff like SoundForge Pro, but they bought it all from Sony, and uh, they are very excited to release this new Vegas Pro 14 when it comes out at the end of uh, September. Now, a lot of people have different questions about this because it's by a different company. And the big thing that I really am concerned about is, is it going to turn into a sort of software licensing deal where it's like Adobe Creative Cloud where you have to purchase something per month to access the software? I hope that's not the case because I bought Vegas Pro 13 right out of the gate and I was able to use it and that's the way that I like to buy my stuff. I don't like to give Adobe $50 or whatever it is a month to use Creative Cloud to do that type of things or those type of things. I don't really like to do that. That's why I stuck with Vegas and and if Vegas Pro 14 does that kind of software, I probably won't get Vegas Pro 14. Vegas Pro 13 works fine for me, and I'll probably wait a little bit to upgrade anyways, even if I do. However, you know, we're all excited. We don't really know anything about Vegas Pro 14 other than those small features that I mentioned already. And uh, it's it's just... it's it, it raises red flags to see Magix, a different company, bought it, but at the same time, it's like Sony isn't really doing anything with Vegas Pro anyway, so I guess they found a good reason that another company would buy it to try and make it better. It could be better, it could be worse, but when Vegas Pro does come out, I will uh, look up some stuff on it, and if I do manage to get Vegas Pro 14, depending on what I look up about it and if it's better and whatnot, I'll make a video discussing my thoughts about Vegas Pro 14. But that's all we know. I'm excited it's coming out. The end of September 2016 is that's what you need to know to look forward to some information on that on the internet. It's going to probably be everywhere. And I'll see you then. Just a short video. This is Ninja Geek. I'm out. And peace.